Hello there, my name is Veena Prashant. I'm the co-founder of DigitalAccessPass.com and the host of DAP's official podcast, DAPcast.com. So if you use security as your uh, security platform, then in this video, I'm going to show you uh, some of the specific settings that you should configure uh, to better protect your website. So let's say that you have Security's website firewall protection. So as I mentioned in my previous videos, Security's uh, website firewall is cloud-based, so it will prevent bad traffic, malicious requests from even getting to your website because it's going to be blocked uh, by Security's servers. And as long as you have made sure that nobody can bypass the firewall, something I uh, showed you in my previous videos, how you can configure and prevent that from happening. So as long as you have done that, as long as you have configured that, uh, malicious traffic is going to be blocked by security servers and uh, it's not going to be allowed in to even get to your servers to your website. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some other uh, things that you can do in your security settings to further harden your website security. So log into your security account, click on website firewall, settings, and then you will find different options here. So the ones that I'm going to talk about in this video is access control and security. These are the two main things and also performance. So by default, security's firewall, it will restrict access to your admin pages like WP admin. Um, and if you do not whitelist your own IP address, then you won't be able to access your own admin dashboard. So be sure to whitelist uh, your IP address in the security's whitelist settings. Also, if you're traveling and your IP address changes, then you'll have to make sure that you add your IP address in security setting. Otherwise, you won't be able to log in uh, and access your WordPress admin. So click on whitelist IP addresses, enter your IP address here, whitelist it. Uh, this way you can access your admin dashboard. Also, if you have developers who work on your website, enter their IP address and whitelist that as well. Otherwise they cannot access your WordPress admin. And once their work is done, be sure to remove them because you don't want them to be whitelisted if they are no longer working on your website. And if you want to blacklist certain IP addresses uh, from prevent them from accessing your website, you can do that as well. Now whitelist URL paths. Here you can whitelist uh, certain specific paths if your plugin requires access to it and is being prevented access to it because of security settings, you can whitelist them here. So just be careful with what you whitelist here because you obviously don't want to whitelist uh, the entire folder if not necessary. So just whitelist uh, the specific files uh, that security is preventing access to in an application flow. So and if the plugin is clearly telling you that the access is being prevented because of your security settings, then you can whitelist that specific file here. So now let's take a look at some of the files that we have whitelisted here. As far as DAP is concerned, uh, you don't really have to whitelist a whole bunch of files. Uh, if you use ClickBank and use ClickBank to connect to DAP, then there uh, are a couple of files that you'll have to whitelist and uh, just open a support ticket with us and we'll let you know what those specific files are. But otherwise, you don't really have to whitelist uh, DAP files. If you are a licensed app user and a licensed SPC user and you want to know what the files are, then open a support ticket with us and we'll let you know what those are. As far as the blacklist URL paths, you can um, blacklist wplogin.php. Uh, this way no one can directly access wplogin.php other than the whitelisted IP addresses. You can also blacklist some of the DAP folders. For example, you can uh, blacklist DAP admin folder. And if you, if you blacklist this, be sure uh, to run some tests to make sure there are no issues with it. There shouldn't be. And uh, don't blacklist too many things at the same time. Uh, whatever you blacklist, be sure to test and uh, let it sit there for a week and run tests and make sure it's not causing any problems with your applications. If you blacklist too many things at the same time and if there is a problem, you won't know which one is causing the problem, which is why it's better to blacklist few at a time, test everything, let it sit there for a week. And if everything looks good, then go ahead and blacklist more. Also in the protected pages, you can add dap login.php script to that list and use IP restriction for that. This way only whitelisted IP addresses can access dap login.php script to login from there. Otherwise, uh, no one else should really be logging in through that script, uh, through that URL. Anyone that wants to log into your website, they should go to your login page and log in from there, uh, the login page that you create in WordPress. That's where they should be logging in from. Uh, your regular user should not be logging in from the default app script. So be sure uh, to add it to the protected pages list and add an IP restriction to that. That way only whitelisted IP addresses uh, can access the script. Otherwise, no one else can get to it. Now the geo blocking. Now this is an important feature as well because this will allow you to block certain countries. Uh, so for example, say that you want to block China as a country. Then all you have to do is... Uh, check the box 
that says block china so you can see that there are two setting view and post ability so anyone from uh, accessing your website from china they are not going to be allowed access now obviously uh, you don't want to do this if you if you get most of your traffic from china right so you have to be careful about what country you're blocking here but if you have specific reason to believe that this is the country from where you're getting problem traffic then you can block it now this is just an example i'm just using china as an example so whatever country you want to block you can block here in a similar way so we just took a look at the access control options now uh, security so under security under the advanced security options you will see that we have some of these checked and some of them unchecked now these are based on our testing and also based on the comment here so in this case you will see that uh, it's going to prevent access to wp admin and also only whitelisted IPs will be able to add access those directories and if you have a membership site uh, then do not enable this option so we have not enabled this option and uh, similarly stop unfiltered html from being sent to your site uh, again same thing if you have a forum or a membership site and if you allow your users to send messages do not enable this option so based on the comment and based on our own testing uh, we have not checked some of these options because then it will be too aggressive and it will prevent good request uh, from reaching your website so just be a little bit careful with this so based on our testing and based on the comments that are here uh, we believe that this is the best and the most optimal option uh, for protecting your membership site so if you want to make the setting more aggressive that's fine as long as uh, you're testing and making sure it's not affecting anything else you can make it more strict but be sure to test and if you find any issues then uh, start unchecking uh, settings one by one and see which one is causing the problem and then leave that setting unchecked all right so on the same page if you go down you're going to see the preventing firewall bypass option uh, this is the one that i talked about in my previous video now it's very important that you do this uh, and if you click on these you're going to find the code that you need to add to your hd access file to prevent direct access to your servers you do not want hackers to bypass your security uh, cloud servers and directly access your server so it's critical that you do this so nobody can directly access your website they will have to go through the securities cloud servers and uh, if you are not sure how to do this how to add this to HD access you need help please contact your web host uh, they should be able to help you with this I was informed by a user who uses security and uses SiteGround as their web hosting platform that SiteGround was not able to help and they were not able to add this um, to the HD access for whatever reason I can't remember but uh, they reached out to security support team and security was able to give them a different piece of code that they were then able to add to the HD access file on their server so even if your web host is not able to help you be sure to reach out to security they should be able to help you with the line of code that you need to add to your HD access file to prevent firewall bypass now let's take a look at performance so security first of all because it blocks all the bad traffic uh, and only permits good traffic to get to your website already it's helping you with performance and in addition to that uh, it also has some caching options which will allow you to cache requests and so it, it will also help you speed up your website if you're using security just for your sales site where you have static content it's fine you can use full caching for that website but um, if you're running a membership site then do not use full caching because it's going to cause problems one member can see another member's information there will be login issues there will be content access issues so you don't want to do that if you're running a membership site only use site caching uh, which is just site header caching and do not use the other two options that you see here and if you really want to use a cache plugin it's better to use a cache plugin on your own website and then you can configure it to uh, whitelist membership pages and all that so instead of using security for caching use a cache plugin on your own website which will have more controls uh, for you to do some specific setting for your membership site caching all right so these are some of the key settings and i'm going to continue to send more videos your way uh, related to security and even if security is outside of your budget uh, there are other ways to protect your websites as long as you have subscribed to dapcast.com you're going to uh, see all the videos where i talk about other options to protect your website even if security is outside of your budget so uh, be sure to subscribe dapcast.com security subscribe to the video series my name is veena prashan thanks for watching